Okay, just a quick update on the amp. Um, still set on auto. Temperature 34 degrees C. And just in standby. Okay, I'm just going to show you now that I've got the ATU being tuned. So what I've got here now then is um, set on coax one, which is my cobweb, and um, the power. Once I've set it, is 10 watts. So there you can see, just 10 watts. Everything's set up. I'm not going to retune it because um, I've got the amplifier set through uh, with the power. I'm on 14200 with the radio. So now what I'll actually do is put the amp on from standby and then just let you see. Once you've actually tuned up, you'll get about 300 watts out on 20 meters. If you've already got an, uh, an antenna that's pre-tuned for the frequency, don't need an ATU or anything, then that's even better. You should get between 3 350. So let's just pop in a little bit so you can just see my key up. So there you've got 300 watts. So that's 300 watts with 10 watts in and on 20 meters with it actually uh, tuned correctly. And yeah, still every now and again um, the power error because I've still not set my trimmer right on the back. I just was doing doing the tests. So that is the problem. Just keep an eye on your um, trimmer on the back with a power input. So as I say, you'll get about 300 watts, between 3 350 out of it. So I hope that's informative as well, just in case. So make sure your antenna's already tuned. If you can do it without having an ATU or anything in line, and your SWR's uh, flat all over whatever band you're going to use, then you'll get the maximum power from the amplifier out of it. So, okay, enjoy.